We have seen how we can mathematically represent a circuit in terms of its transfer function and how once we know the transfer function h of s, we can determine the output of that circuit by taking the Laplace transform of the input and multiplying it by the transfer function. Thus we end up with, at this point then, we end up with a um, ratio of polynomials consisting of v in of s times h in of s. Now, each of these, generally speaking, in general, each of these is a, ra is a rational expression with ter s terms in the numerator and s terms in the denominator. Those s terms in the denominator can be factored, and there will be poles. The, the factors of the denominator lead to poles of v out. Those poles associated with the input and there will be poles associated with the transfer function. So our, our method of then going back into the time domain involves representing or expanding this product in terms of its partial fraction expansion. And this partial fraction expansion will consist of terms associated with the poles of the input and poles associated with the transfer function. Now, if the circuit itself is stable, it turns out that the poles of the transfer function will lead to time domain terms which die out. They won't go on forever. They will be what we will refer to as the transient. The transient response will be the time domain expressions or the time domain terms associated with the poles of the transfer function. The steady state solution, or rather the terms associated with the poles of the input, will then transform back into and be and lead us to the the steady state time domain expression or the expression that will go on um, after the transient dies out. The final state of the circuit will be that which is associated with the input poles and the transient response will be that which is associated with the transfer function. So we can then say that the total response of a circuit due to some input will equal its steady state response and its transient response plus its transient response, the total response, I should say, in the time domain. Or in other words, V out of T will have two components to it. The steady state response, which corresponds to the poles of the input, plus the transient response, which dies out, is associated with the poles of the transfer function.